What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode and this is going to be a brand new series. This is going to be my farewell to FIFA 13. Hopefully this is going to embody the amazingness of FIFA 13 um, in a one big series because I want to make this series so many episodes. I want it to lead up to FIFA 14. Also as well, I want this to be daily, if not twice a day. If we get like 100 likes on this video, I'll upload the, the next episode straight away. Something like that I think definitely should be on to this series. So what we're going to do is on a new account, enable Texas 24 is, you know, basically create a new ultimate team, an RTG, a classic RTG. So right there, I actually chose Joe Hart. And um, reason for that, so I've heard, is that the start pack you get if you choose Joe Hart is you get more English players, which I don't know if it's true or not. But um, we, we'll see if it pays dividends. So this is just the intro things that like you struggle to flip and uh, to skip. And uh, just showing you the basics of uh, Ultimate Team. Not done in the right manner, but you know, it, it's still, it's good for the new players, I suppose. Um, the only thing I'm only doing this for is you get 500 coins and you get a free pack. And uh, what this series is going to be is a pack RTG. And I do know I've done a previous series, Random United, which was roughly this. 50% of this and 50% random. Um, this is going to mainly hail on the pack side. Um, everything's going to be through packs. I'm going to play and hopefully we're going to build a good team at some point. It's going to take a while and it's going to take, yeah, it's going to take a long while because I have to keep buying gold packs to build a really good bronze or a gold team. Um, I'm not sure what the end goal is, but I think we'll know when we hit it. I think a good team uh, I think will be sufficient for this series and um, a reason why I chose this was because I haven't played FIFA in I don't even know how long I played a bit of FIFA 12 but apart from that I mean in the last seven eight months you know I can count how many times I played FIFA on like one hand so it's not you know I'm not used to the game you get rusty at the game if you don't play this daily or by daily every two couple days or every week so um, you know I'm getting back into swing of things and that first game was really good you know uh, getting used to the game I also changed my settings I have a new camera angle now I used to have a really low one but I've gone off that and I changed the uh, controller settings because I uh, play a custom uh, setting as well so we go and call it pack RTG and abbreviation RTG and let's claim our starter pack. Hopefully we can get a silver player into this team because um, it definitely will help. Um, I also said we completed that game 6-0. I wasn't going to show the replay or the highlights. There's no point. It was against an AI. It was an easy game. Most of it was spent, you know, uh, changing settings and stuff. So... What I was going to do is look through these players, exchange the players and put them in the right positions and uh, things like that. And as you can see, we have a good nucleus of English players. I start switching around. We put, uh, I think it's Hanley at left back and we have this uh, a better CDM. So we've got like three centre mids who are English we could choose from and uh, two English strikers. Um, although that Italian, I might use him at some point. He looks really, really tidy. Decent pace. I think good shooting as well. Um, but I decided to go with the English guy just because of that chem boost it's going gonna, it's gonna to give us. And um, I think I do change it in a bit. Uh, once I've decided the team, we get the 500 coin bonus, which I've already told you about, and we get the free reward pack, which I've got to say for FIFA 13, it's a really good initiative from FIFA 12, you know, um, giving you or a new player 500 coins, plus as well this whole pack, which you can sell these players, hopefully get 150 each, that will give you a good boost, um, you know, 150, 200, uh, tr or sell them all overnight, sell the whole starter team overnight, it'll give you a good boost uh, for trading, which hopefully they'll do in FIFA 14, because uh, uh, for me anyway put your views in the comments below but the best thing i think oh, my whole experience with fifa 13 was the first like week of the web app or the first like month of the game um i loved the web app experience you know even though it was up down it was off for like days at uh, days at a time i remember the first second it was like link uh it was leaked there was a leaked link that you can go into and sign up and start your um you know your ultimate team the issue is loads of people actually couldn't get into it and i was one of the few that did i started streaming it i actually got really good viewers uh, back then um for it as well even even just for a web app and i was doing some trading and looking at players even though i couldn't afford nothing couldn't buy anything it was just really being into the ultimate team um and the web app itself and hopefully this will happen again hopefully it'll be better than last year's experience because 
or this year's experience because the uh you know the the web app was down far too much you know ea you you they've got to learn at some point you know they're an incredible company and they're always right in everything they do you know they do the right things and uh, everything they do makes the game better but you know they've got to pick up uh, on the web app and hopefully make it more stable for fifa 14 which i cannot wait for hopefully you guys are the same because I'm a bit burnt out FIFA 13, but hopefully this will you know gauge my interest back into the game. So we get those 500 coins and we spend 400 of it on the you know non shiny open bronze pack. Yeah, 400 coin pack. Um, I'm not sure why they give you 500 coins and like just you can't you know if you're gonna buy a pack which a lot of people do, why didn't they give you 750 coins or? Or 400 like I don't really see the reason for 500 but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter so we pick up Diandi, I think that is and then die they look too interesting pro league players and I do put Diandi in and die killed the chemistry and I think we're up to a you know a high 60s chemistry which is very good from a start team and uh, EA's matchmaking system put me up to this 4312 system a four star team 93 chemistry and we can obviously tell that they are similar teams and look at that touch it was beautiful because that was the perfect touch I actually wanted because I want my keeper to to save the ball it was a great thing to do but Deandy cuts inside has a shot goes underneath the keeper we all know about OP or near post OP and uh, Deandy repaying my faith for putting the play in at left mid look at this he cuts inside easily falls the defender in near post OP a beautiful shot and um, somehow it was a great pass there there was no ricochet and Rodrigo takes a FIFA 12 finesse and he strikes right back in the 18th minute. And Rodrigo is, an, is a wonderful player in uh, FIFA 13. Hopefully we can get him in a pack. A non-shiny player. Four-star skills. You know, wonderful left foot as you can see there. And after that, you know, 19th minute as you can see here. Just after he started sco or he scored to make it 1-0. He was all over me at that point. Another wonderful touch. I did mean that, you know, to happen. But look at this. Bun cuts inside. Balls the defender. The defender had no clue where he was. I mean, no one knew what he was going to do. That fake shot actually, you know, did its uh, did its job because it totally fooled the defense. And it was very clean. And look at that rocket into the top corner. And uh, then it's half time. As you can see, we score. And uh, we've had four shots, four on target. We've had more of the possession, which is uh, good to see. Uh, some more wonderful touches at the start of the second half. But with Musa Sissoko, he takes a long shot, celebrates like an absolute bell end for a little bit. And uh, it's 2 2. And then he tries to tramp it on me like a slag, but that doesn't happen. But, you know, karma bites you back. And that's what I have to say. Look at this goal. You know. There is a there's a word invented for this game, which is uh, FIFA AIDS, and uh, I think that is the right description for that goal. Um, really can't say anything more. But after that, you know, he he came back into me. He was trying long shots. That was his game. But a nice one-two with my uh, strikers, I think that were. And uh, what a finish that is by H Bun. I did a nice little LB chip over the keeper. Um, even though that like basically killed him afterwards. It just knocked him off balance after the chip. It was a wonderful little uh, finish. And then a real bad mistake by him throwing it out. I intercept and it goes right back to Seabull. And he gets a goal as well in the 88th minute. So we're... You know, we're coasting at this point. You know, it was a really tough game. You're getting into the match. It took me a while to get into FIFA as well, um, into this game. But we do get the win. And that is a 5-2 victory. A great way to start. In the divisions, we get our first win. And also, this is going to enable us to get a pack. Um, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? right at the end nah nah you can't be you can't be serious right right at the end of the game at the screen where it tells me how well my team have played the game finished surely surely i should get the win yeah because i finished the game well we've got to go back in the ultimate team to find out Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. You know what? I hated FIFA 13. Fuck this game. See you in FIFA 14.